Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the hilarious musical hit, George Abbott's Best Foot Forward, starring Betty Garrett, Eileen Wilson, and your host, Gordon McRae, with Jerome Cowan, Bill Shirley, Alice Pierce, Gloria Wood, Joseph Kearns, and from the original Broadway cast, Gil Stratton, Jr. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that also bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is Gordon McRae. Thank you and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're going back to prep school tonight for the lighthearted musical hit, Best Foot Forward. And we're coming on the campus just in time for the spring prom. We've got an all-star cast to sing the wonderful Hugh Mott and Ralph Blaine songs. So, are you all ready, gang? Let's go! What's the best school in the whole darn state of Pennsylvania? Yeah! Buckle down, win, socky, buckle down. You can win, win, socky, if you knuckle down. If you break their necks, if you make them rest, you can break the hex, so buckle down. Knuckle down, win, socky, knuckle down. You can win, win, socky, if you buckle down. If you mow them down, if you go to town, you can wear the crown if you will only knuckle down. Gang. Hey, freshman, hurry up with those decorations. Hey, we sure have to hurry, Greeny. The girls will be here any minute, and this place still looks like a basketball court. Just think. Across this foul line will pass the most beautiful girls in Pennsylvania. Hey, hey, here comes the bus. Women! Hey, well, come on, come on, Greeny. What are you waiting for? I'm afraid I've got a blind date. Oh, that's tough. What does she look like? Well, she's a girl. I hope. <laughs> all right, all right, girls. <laughs> This is the gymnasium where the dance will be held. I am Dr. Reba, principal of Windsocket Preparatory School. While you are our guests, I hope you will all enjoy yourselves within reasonable limits. Mm. Uh, Smith? Oh. Hey, Minerva. Hi, Dutch. Gee, Hulick is my first prom. I feel so sophisticated. Mm-hmm. You'll feel more sophisticated when you go back. Oh, you wicked. <laughs> okay, okay, where is he? Who? A character named Green. I'm his blind date. If he's on the premises, I'd like him to step up and take the rap. <laughs> oh, Greeny! Oh, Greeny! Somebody want me? My, they grow them small here. Well, cheer up. I'm a good kid at heart. And you're so short, you won't have to look at my face. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What's the matter with you, bud? You look a little chartreuse. Fellas, come on outside, will you? I gotta talk to you. Who is, bud? What's the matter? Yeah, what's eating you? Guys, I'm in an awful jam. What's wrong? Well, remember the movie we saw about two months ago with Gail Joy? Oh, yeah, the Wham Girl. You know, sweaters. Yeah, that's her. (laughs) Well, after the picture, see, I wrote her a letter and asked her to be my prom girl at the dance tonight, and something terrible happened. What? She accepted. Oh, oh no, that's impossible. Gail Joy's way out there in Hollywood. Oh, no, not tonight she isn't. She's right here in town at the Eagle House. She is? Well, but, old man, we won't let you down. We'll help you take Gail Joy to the dance. We'll divvy her between us. Oh, gee, fellas, I, I hate to put you to this trouble. Oh, anything for a friend. Three men, three men on a date. We're men whose dates got the gate. We'll each have a dance with Miss Joy With California's real McCoy Three men, three mates in a room We're men whose dates met their doom We're casting our lines for a fee 
wish for California's favorite dish. We can leave our studies in the hall. For tonight we're buddies of the ball. We can leave our flowers on the wall. For tonight we're buddies to a ball. Three men, three mates on a chair. We're men whose dates got the air. For one of California's friends. Men on a day You can leave the key in your sedan For tonight we have a better plan We can catch them now if catch we can For tonight we're super superman Three men, three pills on the march We're men whose thrills lost their start For one of California's friends We're three Man on a day. Just a minute, bud. What about your regular girl, Helen Schlesinger? Well, when I got this letter from Gail Joy, I wrote Helen I had the grip and told her not to come. Well, you turned her name into the faculty, didn't you? Well, sure. Oh, then you're all set. Your girl isn't coming, so Gail Joy goes as Helen Schlesinger. Well... People sure think Helen has rounded out a little. Ah, uh, we'll explain the whole thing to Miss Joy. She'll understand. Yeah, come on, bud. She must be lonely at the Eagle House. Even eagles are lonely at the Eagle House. <laughs> just a moment. Where are you boys going? Why, uh, uh, just over to the Eagle House, Dr. Reber. Uh, to help Bud Hooper pick up his date. Who is your date, Hooper? Uh, H Helen Schlesinger, sir. Well, why isn't she staying here with the rest of the girls? Well, goodbye, Dr. Reber. Answer my question. Come back here, boys. Come back. Uh, see you later, Dr. Reber. Yes, yeah, so long. Hmm. Something very suspicious is going on here. Hello. I'm Helen Schlesinger, and I'm Helen looking for... Helen Schlesinger. How does it happen you're staying unchaperoned in town? But I'm not. Well, young Hooper just went into the Eagle House to meet you. Oh, it must be another Helen Schlesinger. Unless... Oh, dear. I just came down to cheer Bud up while he was sick. Golly. I guess I've got things all messed up again. Oh, so true. I wish I had a clue or two. Where I stood, I thought I knew. For sure. True or false, life was a never end. Then it caught the summer sauce for good. Might have known it would. Every time my heart begins to dance. The world steps on my little toes Every time I take a little chance I pay right through my little nose Every time I fly my little kite It catches on a tree anchor out it pulls me in the sea every time I feel a little glow I always get a little shock every time I stick my little chin out always get a little
Bird, what's the trouble? I'm just a lady in the dark. With my face, that's good. Light is always working against me. My date just played a dirty trick on me. He disappeared. Well, I just played a dirty trick on my date. I showed up. <laughs> Bud Hoop is my fella. And by golly, I'm going to fight for him. <laughs> A hotel, the Eagle House, yet. Now, Gail. What am I doing in a broken downtown like this just because your office says it's great publicity? It is great publicity. Schoolboy invites movie star to senior prom. Why, it's Cinderella spelled backwards. It's great publicity. And who knows, your option wasn't picked up. Nobody who doesn't live in Hollywood or Beverly Hills. Well, don't be bitter. If you pull this off, every movie producer in Hollywood will be chasing you. Naturally. But will they give me a job? <laughs> Why do you always have to look at the gloomy side of things? Experience, chum. That silver lining ain't worth a plug nickel. <laughs> you really like to sing the blues, don't you, lady? It's my favorite color <laughs> of necessity. Like a fish loves the ocean Like a chimney sweep loves his flues Like each bride with a wedding cake would love to take a cruise That's how I love the blues Like a cha-cha loves his candy Like an indigent housewife her stews Like reporters who need the cash Would love to crash the news That's how I love the blues like a squaw loves her papoose Like a hobo his caboose Like the ticketed to love their clues I love the blues Like a sailor her loves tattoos Like a barber loves shampoos Like a decorator loves chartreuse I love the blues Like a star loves a close-up Like a practical joker or ruse Like a guy on a desert isle Would love to smile on you Yes, that's I love the blues Like a dog loves his master Pulitzer board loves to choose Like a crocodile loves to grin And wallow in his ooze That's how I love the blues That's how I love the blues That's how I love the blues You can stop singing the blues, Gail. There's your date. Come in. Hello. Hello. Well, three of them. Come in. Thank you. My name's Bud Hooper, and these are my roommates, Dutch and Greeny. How do you do? My name is Jack Haggerty. Love your school. Wonderful atmosphere. <laughs> Reminds me of Yale. Oh, did you go to Yale? We made it once. Made what? A picture about Yale. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Mr. Haggerty, boys. He's an agent. Uh, pardon me, Miss Joy, but... I have to say something. Oh, when you introduce me. Oh, don't let that worry you. Why, but he's young, isn't he? Well, I, I would be to you anyway. <laughs> what a lovely compliment. <laughs> Miss Joy, would... I don't know how to say it. Would, would you mind going to the prom as Helen Schlesinger? As who? <laughs> Helen Schlesinger. Oh, it must be a masquerade. Huh? Um, by the way, who was she? Helen Schlesinger? Helen... Why, why, she was the girl who outsmarted the British darling in 1776. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. Yeah, I think Bergman played her. <laughs> well, 
Maybe she did, but there's another one now. You see, Helen Schlesinger is the name I turned in. Turned in where? To the faculty, so they could look up her past. It takes two weeks. Look, you're not being initiated into a fraternity, are you? I mean, nobody's making you say these things, are they? Oh, no, look, I got it all figured out. If you come to the dance as Helen Schlesinger, nobody will ever know you're Gail Joy. Ah, oh, well, that's just ducky. How do you suppose I came all the way from California? Hey, listen, you rover boy. Yes, come in. Well. I hope I'm not intruding. Helen, what are you doing here? To think I believed in you. To think I came down here to give you such a wonderful surprise. I've been blind, blind. Can't you play that scene somewhere else? <laughs> but I have resources of my own, Bud Hooper. And you'll find there's no fury like a woman scorned. Well. Boy, she's desperate. Maybe we'd better skip the whole thing. Not on your life. Look, kids, you get me into the places Helen and smack in the puss, and, and I'll do the rest. I came up here to get in the papers, and by gosh, I'll be queen of that prom before I'm through. Come on, kids, grab a wing. How about this? Three dates. Oh, yeah, boy. boy. Three men, three men on a date. We're men whose dates got the gate. With one of California's great. We're three With spring officially here and winter about over, we hope, the states which were struck by the unprecedented series of winter storms can begin to compute the cost. In that connection, the editor of the Topeka, Kansas Daily Capital discussed in a recent issue the cost of snow removal and the different ways in which the cost was met. Here in part is what the editor said, and I quote, Clearing the highways and cutting through to isolated ranches was, of course, an essential operation. So was the haylift dropping of supplies. And no one will grumble because it cost the taxpayers a sizable sum. But, he went on to say, the railroads did their own snow plowing, ice blasting, and ditch digging with their own equipment and at their own expense while opening up the highways for the trucks was done by the government at the taxpayers' expense. End of quotation. This difference in who pays for snow removal is important for it points up, as the Topeka Daily Capital put it, the striking contrast between the way government treats the railroads and the way it treats rival methods of transportation. We're ready for the second act of the George Abbott hit Best Foot Forward, starring Betty Garrett, Eileen Wilson, and your host, Gordon McRae, with Jerome Cowan, Bill Shirley, Alice Pierce, Gloria Wood, Joseph Kearns, and Gil Stratton, Jr. Okay, gals, fit on those corsages and fellas, straighten up those bow ties. We're going to the big event of the year at Winsaki, the spring prom. Well... Welcome to the prom, Miss Joy. Oh, that music. Yeah, isn't it great? You know, that orchestra came all the way from the Delaware Water Gap. Well, it's still dripping. <laughs> you know, it's all in the way you listen to it. I think it sounds wonderful. Come on, Miss Joy. Let's dance. First promise at my first promise to dance the waltzes with you. I'll take chances with other dancers, but no one waltzes like you. That's my promise at last. 
Okay, Dutch, now it's my turn to dance with Miss Joy. Hey, hands off, Greenie. This is my dance. Boys, please, one at a time. How do you like that? She's got three wolves after her, and I can't even find a coyote. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, I'd be delighted. <laughs> oh, no, you, you don't understand. I don't want to dance. Oh, that's okay. But if you've got any influence with the stag line, tell them I'm a naturalized citizen. <laughs> no, I, I'm looking for Helen Schlesinger. Oh, you mean the little girl in there with the mascara all over her chin? Yeah, that's Helen, all right. She always cries dark. I gotta go in and see her. Hey, uh, wait a minute. You can't go in there. That's where the girls are staying. It's an emergency. Oh, I suspected this joint all along. <laughs> Helen, Helen! Go away, Bud Hooper. I don't want to see you. Oh, Helen, I got to talk to you. You've been my ideal ever since we started in the first grade together. Why, Helen, I, I know you even better than I know biology. I haven't done so well in my studies Since you and I have come to be buddies You pop up in the strangest places and at the strangest times, your face is always appearing to disconcert me. Even in midterms, you won't desert me. Though it is sad, it's true. I've been majoring in war. You came and I saw And I was a conquered nation The marks are low upon my story chart But I know I got two favors to ask of you. Yes, bud? First, trust me. Second, go home. <gasps> I came here to go to this dance, Bud Hooper, and I'm going. But you can't. There's one Helen Schlesinger in there already. She's Gail Joy, the movie star. Oh, she is not. <gasps> yes, she is. I didn't recognize her without her sweater. <laughs> well, I'm going into that dance with or without you. Helen, if, if you do, I'm a bigamist. Uh, Helen! <laughs> All right, everybody, let's put some life into this party. No more slow music. Hit it. Bounce it. Bop it. I'm for that myself. Let's give the brush to Bach, Beethoven, and Brahm. Well, girls, I don't go much for that no haircut stuff myself. Say, Miss Joy, maybe we have something in common. If it's common, we've got it. <laughs> I never want to hear Johann Sebastian Bach. And I don't want to listen to Ludwig Beethoven And I don't give a hoot for all your honest pride The bees we want are these The bees we want are these They're the barrel mouth The boogie boogie and the blue Yes, the barrel house The boogie woogie and the blue Oh, the barrel house makes a man of a mouse And every boogie beat will raise your heat And when the slap You'll never ever choose to lose the blues. You'll never choose to lose the blues. Oh, the blues will really get you. And the barrel house is bound to 
the statue. And the boogie woogie beat will drive you straight to distraction. Even school professors get a solid reaction from the barrel house. I love the boogie cause it tickles just fine. I love the boogie cause it's fresh and it's fine. Just like a cigarette with modern design. That's why I love the boogie woogie. Yes, yes, boo I'd seem to knock the wind right out of my chest. Boo-ah-boo-ah. It's older and good, it makes a fool of the rest. Boo-ah-boo-ah. Just goes to show you that the boogie's the best. That's why I love the boogie woogie. Yes, yes. It's right as rain, as low as thunder, high as a cloud, sweet as a cake. It's got a kick, like mountain liquor, and it's a slick and hard to take as a porterhouse day. Boo-ah-boo-ah. It picks you up and knocks you flat in the mat. Boo-ah-boo-ah. It makes fat people thin and thin people. No mother music is the solid as that go. Oh, I love that boogie woogie beat. Great. I love the boogie too, but not when I'm feeling blue. I get the blues in the morning. The blues. Cause it sounds so good And it feels so good And it is so good The best jazz music there is This other young lady came into the dance as Miss Schlesinger. She's not me. I'm me. She's Gail Joy, the movie star. <laughs> Gail Joy, the movie star? Here at Winsocky? It's the Flam Girl. Oh, excuse me. I want her autograph. What for? There's a stoop I know at home who'll pay money for it. <laughs> I want a souvenir, a piece of her dress. Ah, look out. That's the only strap I've got. Oh, I want a souvenir, too. Well, here we go. Back to the old look. Oh, oh, oh wait brother, up. bring on the photographers. Why, they're tearing off her clothes. Look at those lovely flashbulbs, Pop. Blind me, boys, blind me. This will make the front page of every paper in the country. Maybe even the congressional record. During this winter's unprecedented succession of snow and sleet storms in the Great Plains and Rocky Mountain regions, there was a constant battle to keep the ways of transportation open. Not only the railways, but every way of transportation. In that struggle, state and county highway forces, government forces, everybody labored with devotion and efficiency. 
But between what was done to enable other forms of transportation to operate and what was done on the railroads, there is this important difference, that the expense of opening up railroad lines and keeping them open is paid by the railroads themselves. When a railroad snowplow bucks a drift or ice has to be blasted away or a great whirling rotary chews into a snowpack cut, the cost of doing the job is borne by the railroads. In some places last winter, the cost amounted to as much as $1,000 a mile spent by the railroads so that essential supplies could be kept moving. There was more to it than just a matter of cost, too. There was a human side, which was well expressed by the editor of Traffic World, a national weekly widely read among shippers, who happened to be on a train which was stalled by the snow in the Rocky Mountains. There was nothing in the rule books, he wrote, and not even anything in past experience which covered the emergency. But the emergency was met by the self-reliant, self-supporting railroads with their own crews and at their own cost. We doff our hat to the railroad organization, said this experienced observer. <laughs> Our show train will return in just a moment after a brief pause for station identification. Now for Act Three of Best Foot Forward with an all star Broadway and Hollywood cast. Headed by Betty Garrett, Eileen Wilson, and your host, Gordon McRae. Quiet, please, quiet. As head of Winsocky Preparatory School, I should like to say a few words. Your behavior at the dance tonight was shocking and scandalous. I intend to find out who brought this movie person to Winsocky and take proper disciplinary action. <coughs> Swist. How oh, I despise the older generation. You're not kidding. Well, I'm very discouraged. But listen, how about some of that old Winsocky spirit? Nothing can get us down. Where's that old fight? Yeah, make like a cheerleader, bud. Okay, I will. <laughs> If you shout parade for the Pennsylvania Dutchman, they will cover the ground for a number one down or a touch. Everyone has agreed that you'll have to concede to the Dutchman. Shout parade for the Pennsylvania Dutch. If you shout parade for the Pennsylvania Dutchman, every team that they play will be carried away with a crutch. When they're out on the field, if they're wearing the shield of the Dutchman, shout parade for the Pennsylvania Dutch. Buckle down, win Saki, buckle down. You can win, win Saki, if you knuckle down. If you break, break their, their necks, necks, if you make them wrecks, you can break the hex, so buckle down. Make them yell, win Saki, make them yell. You can win, win Saki, if you ring the bell. If you don't give in, take it on the chin. You are bound to win if you will only buckle down. If you fight, you'll chuck the life defeat. If you fight, your luck will not retreat. We repeat. Knuckle down, we'll suck. Knuckle down. You can win, win, suck. If you buckle down. If you mow them down. If you go to town. You can wear the crown if you will only buckle. What's all the excitement? Yeah, what's been going on? Where have you two lovebirds been? Oh, Dutch and I were just out in the grandstand. That's where everybody at Winsaki goes to hold hands. <laughs> I wish somebody'd take me out to the grandstand. A big, strong man, maybe. I had one, but he was stronger than I was. I couldn't hold him. <laughs> Come on, kids. We got a huddle about how to keep Bud in school. Yeah. Hey, listen, Minerva. You shouldn't be making cracks like that about being out in the grandstand right here in front of everybody. But gosh, Dutch, that's where we were. Well, I didn't take advantage of the situation, did I? No, you certainly didn't. 
Well, what do you mean? Well, I'll tell you what I mean. Straight from the shoulder straps. What do you think I am? Just a baby. What do you think I am? Just a child. What do you think I go around with man for? And who do you think I've got a little yen for? Oh, what do you think of me as a sister? Couldn't you just for once be a man? I'm getting older and quite a bit bolder. All my heart needs is a shot. What do you think I am? I'm in love. What do you think I am? Just a small fry. What do you think I am? Just a brat. What do you think I mope around and sigh for? And what do you think this twinkles in my eye for? Oh, why do you think of me as a brother? Couldn't you just for once be my gal? Come and play house with me. Don't cat and mouse with me. All my heart needs is a show. What do you think I am? I need Kids, come quick. There's big excitement up in Bud Hooper's room. Well, what happened? Dr. Reber found that Bud brought Gail Joy to the prom, so Bud's been expelled. All right, Hooper. You may pack your bags immediately. You have disgraced the name of Winsocky. Not so fast, Grandpappy. Little Gail has something to say. This kid is a little off his rocker, but I like him. I feel motherly towards him. Oh, sister. Well, you know, like I, like I would to a dog, like Lassie. Just think, bud. If you could bark, you'd be a movie star. <laughs> Jack, Jack, get that camera ready. Gail Joy is about to play her biggest scene. Already. Oh, Dr. Reber. <clears throat> My dear young lady, I have nothing further to say on the subject. What a good-looking man you are, Dr. Reber. How nice it would be to get you in the grandstand with my arms around your neck like this. Please, young lady, let go. I got it. What a beautiful picture. He had his eyes shut. Go get it developed right away. You bet. What's the meaning of this? Look, Doc, Bud Hooper is being thrown out of school because he went to bat for me. So if you're going to make trouble for him, I'll make trouble for you. Oh, Green, go phone for the sheriff immediately. I want to arrest that woman. Yes, Dr. Reber. Oh. Well, I sure wasn't invincible with the principal. Every time I try to be a help, I always take it on the chin. Every time I hurry to the rescue, always get a Mickey Finn. Every time I play a little gin, I'm always short an ace. Every time I sign a little check, it bounces in my face. Every time I buy a little stock, it always takes a little drop. Every time I think I got a hit, I always get a little flop. And when I think my name will be in life, it dwindles to a spark. Leaving just a lonely little lady in the dark. Gee, Miss Joy, thanks for trying to keep Bud from getting expelled. Yeah, Helen and I will never forget you. When we're married, that is. If we may, we'd like to write you occasionally. Like on Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, son. That would be just grand. Oh, just a minute. Hold everything. I just had word that every paper in the country is carrying our story about Gail Joy, the Winsocky prom girl. Oh, dear me. Oh, oh, I, uh, I happen to have another shot here the papers might be interested in. One prep school prexy with one movie star <laughs> slightly around neck. Oh, oh, dear. Dear me. Uh, Dr. Reber, the sheriff's downstairs. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you, Green. 
Uh, tell him I want him to take his usual post in the grandstand. There's been altogether too much extracurricular activity. <laughs> and tell him I'll be right over. Uh, Hooper. Yes, sir? It is not my custom to reverse disciplinary action. However, I wish to reestablish the status quo. Is that good? It is. <laughs> we will have no demonstration. Now, since I understand that Miss Joy is a very special guest, she may have a few words to say to the student body. Well, thanks, Doc. <laughs> Students, there is one thing I'd like to say, and then I've got to run. Life isn't always technicolor under the Hollywood sun. Just because you hate exams and you've only one prom a year, don't be dismayed. I'd gladly trade, my dear. <laughs> If you mow them down, if you go to town, you can wear the crown and you will only buckle down, buckle down, buckle down, buckle down, buckle down. Thank you, thank you very much, ladies. Gentlemen, the book for Best Foot Forward is by John Cecil Holm. The words and music by Hugh Martin and Ralph Blaine. Well, next week, our show train will bring you the glamorous metropolitan opera soprano, Miss Dorothy Kirsten, who joins me in Victor Herbert's melodious operetta, Mademoiselle Modiste. <laughs> All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. But, friends, here is a reminder. Many thousands of our listeners have asked for the informative 64-page booklet, Quiz on Railroads and Railroading. If you have not yet sent for this interesting booklet, you can get a copy without charge by writing to the Railroad Hour, Transportation Building, Washington 6, D.C. I'll repeat that address, the Railroad Hour, Transportation Building, Washington 6, D.C. <laughs> Best Foot Forward has been presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Betty Garrett and Alice Pierce appeared on this program by arrangement with Metro Goldwyn Mayer, producers of the Technicolor picture Little Women, starring June Allison, Peter Lawford, Margaret O'Brien, and Elizabeth Taylor. Eileen Wilson can be heard each week on Your Hit Parade. Bill Shirley appeared through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox, producers of Down to the Sea and Ships, starring Richard Widmark and Lionel Barrymore. Gordon McRae appeared by arrangement with Warner Brothers, producers of My Dream is Yours, starring Jack Carson and Doris Day. This is Marvin Miller speaking. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by 132 railroads, which are members of the Association of American Railroads. Each one of these railroads is an independent business with its own operations and services. Each one competes keenly with others for business, working by itself, but all of them work together for better service to you. There goes our show train, but don't forget it'll be back next week with Mademoiselle Modiste. And here's Carmen Dragon and the orchestra to play one of the hits from that operetta. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.